down the pier right now and we see a few different stalls so we decided to check some out I know that Chang Chow is known for their mango mochi so I did buy one and I'm waiting for my mango shirt because I've been craving that for the longest this is our first island outside of Hong Kong Island so it's pretty cool but look how big this mango shake is once we got our smoothies and our mango mochi we decided to stroll around the island to see what it had to offer one of the things we were looking forward to most was going to the beach because it was a particularly nice day and truly we just needed a break so we were really looking forward to dipping our feet in the water unwinding and just relaxing on the beach however the sand looked a little dirty and there was nobody swimming in the water so we kind of took that as a sign to stay off and there was even a big pile of trash so that was another turn off but we were not about to go to Changchao and not go in the water so we decided to go kayaking instead Today I'm taking over Andre's vlogs. <laughs> so he's right here. What's up? We're just enjoying kayaking in Cheng Chao Island. We are double kayaking because this, these waves are. <laughs> <laughs> you see these waves are. Whoa, 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 whoa. They're kind of rocky. As you can probably tell, there's a lot of vendors on the street selling food and whatnot. So it's pretty cool to just walk around and see what's available. Y'all, look at this love lock. So there's a whole bunch of locks full of love. Yes. We just passed by some street vendors at Chung Chow. So I saw these potato sticks and I just had to get it. Look at this. This looks so good. And I also got curry, fish balls, and this was a total of 28 Hong Kong dollars. So very cheap but i'm excited to try this because i've been meaning to try street food all this time so i'm excited to dig in it's actually pretty good when you take a bite it tastes like potato chips like <laughs> that was not a satisfying bite but you get the gist of it usually when i eat it it's kind of like soggy and you can just try it's pretty soft but this one is like more crunchy but I really love the curry fish balls. I don't even have them in hand anymore because they're, they're so good. I ate it all. <laughs> but yummy. Along the coast of Chung Chao are a lot of fresh seafood restaurants and we really wanted to dig in. This one restaurant looked pretty popular, so we decided to eat here. When you eat in Hong Kong, sometimes they give you a cheese set that's not only meant for drinking, but it's meant to wash your dishes before you eat with them. We just headed down into this seafood restaurant and really cool because we get to choose a variety of different items for one fixed price so we've been craving seafood for the longest time so finally we're here to try it and no 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 and they give us egg duck soup which is provided how is it it's good y'all our food just came out look at this we are coming back yeah <laughs> This is after our seafood lunch. Also, look, the outside, the sun is low-key setting. Y'all, the sun is out. It is golden hour. So nice. This is where we got our smoothie and mango mochi from earlier. When we went, there was no line, but later in the day, there's a line that forms. So I guess this must be the more popular place to get your mango mochi from. Hi y'all, we just got done eating dinner, so we just decided to walk around and get some last minute street food before we head back to Hong Kong Island. But I got this big, watermelon slice and it's pretty popular on Chang Chao apparently. I see everybody walking around with it so of course I had to try it myself so let's take a first bite. What the? It's like ice cream but it's like a golden watermelon inside. Good. And it's awesome. Y'all got the curry fish ball again. Yeah, yeah. On the way back we go. We just made 
headed back to Hong Kong Island at Central and my watermelon slice melted but we actually ended up on the longer ferry back it took about an hour a little under an hour whereas going there took 30 minutes exactly so it was very nice to just watch the sunset and then relax a little bit but yep that was a trip to Chow. I would definitely go again. Mm -hmm. Ace, I am